about who won the game, okay? Because Anthony Edwards is fun, and a lot of people are learning about him, I think, for the first time uh, this postseason. Best player in the series? I ask you, Lou, can he be the best player in, it, in any series as we move forward? He's playing like it. <laughs> playing like it. Give him credit. This was, this was total domination. Four straight games. Second half, he was making a living in the second half. And that, that game last night, he set himself apart from everybody else that was on that basketball floor. And just making the right plays, making big plays. He was playing with confidence. And at the same time, you know what's underrated about Anthony Edwards? He was instilling confidence in his teammates by trusting them. Like I said, making the extra passes when he was getting trapped. And the games, the, the series when he wasn't getting trapped, he was attacking the basket and he wasn't making it easy for anybody. Whether Denver's up next, whether it's the Lakers up next, whoever, Anthony Edwards can be the best player in any of those series. Whether it's who Nick, up next? It doesn't matter. I know, but really, you're going to put the Lakers in there. That's very, you, be, very and, professional and, of until, Lou to, yeah, until. to make it sound that way. Um, <laughs> Chandler, talk about Anthony Edwards. I, he's just, he's, a, he's fun. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. Looking ahead against the Nuggets, is he going to be the best player on the floor? Probably not with Jokic there. But the fact that he was in this series with Devin Booker, <laughs> with Kevin Durant, and it wasn't even close. Like, Lou just hit it. He instills confidence in his teammates. He gets everybody going. He sparks everybody with the way he plays defense and offense. He's unselfish. He can do it all. And so the fact that he's doing this now on the biggest stage, and give, you got to give the Timberwolves credit. They are built really, really well defensively. Guys like Jaden McDaniels, Anthony Edwards, and Rudy Gobert, they can guard any sort of situation. The Suns tried to go small. That didn't work. Um, and defense travels. And this team is a mismatch nightmare because they have guys that can score and they have guys that are committed and locked in on the defensive end. And they're the number one team in a defensive team in the NBA for a reason. So looking ahead to Denver, it's not going to be as easy as people think because this team does defend and they still can win games even when shots aren't falling. So you got to give them respect. This was... This was an insane run. No one thought they were going to be a great team this year. No one thought they were going to come in here and sweep the Suns. They just keep proving people wrong, and they keep doing it on both ends of the floor. And it's all pretty much because of Anthony Edwards. He is he is their everything, and he is he's a star. He he's reached a different level, a lo even more so, just from this series. By the way, he was asked to name his favorite basketball movie after the game. Did you guys see? Oh, that? he said Love and Basketball. Yeah, he didn't say his fun own. Fact, I actually watched Love and Basketball for the first time a few weeks ago. It's How a great is that movie. a fun fact, Shams? It's a fun fact. It's no, a fact, it's, and it's fun. I can't deal with Shams right now. <laughs> um, yeah. I wish we had more it's time. It's a fact, <laughs> and it's fun. I'll let it go. I have to throw a little curveball in there. <laughs> Good lord. Um, here's something we've not done ever. Uh, T Wolves coach Chris Finch was injured in this game. Take I mean, just that. just brutal. Torn wow. patellar tendon in his knee. Obviously in extreme pain. Mike Conley ran into him on accident. It was a collision late in the game when he was followed by Devin Booker. But torn patellar tendon, he was on crutches after the game, getting testing done. And he's in extreme pain. Last night, oh, he, he's going to be in pain for the foreseeable future. The hope is, is that he's going to be ready to coach in round two, of course, and be on the sideline for them. Uh, I mean, this is crazy. I'm, I'm, this is a first for, I'm, I'm for a lot of us. Well, listen, he has time to rest. Has so time to rest, get his brace, get his, get his situation together. He'll be good to go second round. I mean, what, do you shoot him up with painkillers to get on the plane back? Like, how does that work? Well, that, he's he's probably. I'm back sorry, already. Chandler just heard drugs and was like, I can tell you. <laughs> uh, like, oh, what is it? <laughs> what, Chandler, do you want to chime in? <laughs> a torn yeah, patella. Like, that's. I mean, a torn patella. That is serious. For, uh, watching the replay, I don't know how it was this bad. But if he was a player, he's done for next season. Like this is a yeah, crazy. Th th this is a year to year and a half. That's injury. insane. Yeah. This is a crazy injury. There's a, he's going to be on crutches or I mean maybe like a little scooter. There's going to be a situation from the head coach <laughs> that we have not seen before. Poor so guy. this. Uh, yeah, does he get surgery now? Does he wait? Uh, who knows? But this sucks. Bad uh, timing. Because you're not mobile, right? So he's going to need to stay planted, and then maybe an assistant uh, coach oh is the mobile one. Is that what we're looking at? Usually the scooter. Patel what tennis, about the scooter? It, like a, yeah, he's probably gonna. He's gonna need everything. He's gonna <laughs> he need a scooter. Like, he's, he's gonna, gonna need crutches. A, I feel so yeah, bad. There's gonna, gonna be some security chair. over there to make sure nobody oh. else runs into and him. And you know again. he's pissed. Like what a dumb injury. Like for nothing. Could you just go with the one crutch? You think? He's older. But I don't know how mobile you could. Because you got to be able to move fast and get out of the way, which is how we got yeah. in the first place. But uh, yeah, that's that's a rough one. But. Yeah. You know what? Well soon, Coach. The win and the sweep probably helped. Coach a of the Year bit. finalists. Obviously, yeah. they went from one of the lower seeds to the num to number one of the top seeds season. this year. So limping into the second round. Oh. So Mike Conley did this. It couldn't have been someone I bigger. No. <laughs> and then he, he looked like he felt so full awful. Full speed. But he like, full, he went full speed full. into Chris Finch. Like, oh, God. yeah, that was tough. Yeah, that, that's a tough one. Um,